Hello everybody, this is Mock, and welcome to the finale of Mega Man X2. Last time we finished off Agile and the rest of the Mavericks that got brought back to life because Boss Rush and Sigma's disembodied voice appeared to tell us that it's not over yet. This time we descend into the ruins of the X-Hunter base and finish off Sigma for good this time. And for whatever reason, we start off in Magnus Centipede stage. I, I, I just honestly ignore the enemies and just go, just go straight to the end. It's like th this is pretty much for verbatim, just Magnus Centipede's intro stage, or the intro to that stage. Also, yeah, I. Went ahead and filled up the sub tanks. Ooh, I'll take that. Not that I'll. Don't think I'll really need it, but. Come on. Alright. And. We've arrived. And Sigma's got an old friend with him. Look who I found wandering around, Mega Man. My friend here has a small problem with you. It seems that you left him to die, and he's not too happy about that. Now I think that it is time that he repays the favor. Before I continue, I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, yeah, if you don't collect all of Zero's parts, this happens. If you do, a black Zero with like a red crystal on his forehead is with Sigma. The dialogue doesn't change. The only difference is that the red Zero, normal Zero, shows up and kills the imposter. Best boss fight in the game. There's a reason this Zero theme is the one that keeps getting remixed. Real quick, uh, if you want to do it Zero, please. Yeah. Uh, Zero's weakness is the speed burner. You can easily just keep shooting him and do this, and you can win the fight. But I don't want to do that, because this is the best fight in the game. He has a double blaster shot, then a wave. He likes to pound the ground and shoot out rock, and he has a dash attack. This is a better zero fight than the one in X5, but I'm just going to say that. I love this fight so much more. This one is so much more fast-paced. The theme is... Uh, X vs. Zero and X5 is really damn good. I do not recommend doing what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because the fight is fun. Also, yeah, Zero likes to block your shots. And I'm just going to use a sub-tank. Alternatively, I could have sure you can him at the start, but where's the fun in that? I love that fight. Zero. Do you remember me? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Sorry to cause you so much trouble. X, you need to go after Stigma. I'll try and destroy the main computer. Take care of yourself, Zero. I don't have time to put you back together again. Uh, Zero, you already destroyed the main computer. I'll be okay. Get going, X. Here it is, X. Sigma lies just ahead. And what he means by just ahead, he means down below.
And Stigma also has a great theme, too. This one also likes to get remixed a lot. You are merely a bothersome insect, X. It's about time I crushed you beneath my heel. He's got Wolverine claws. His weakness is the Sonic Slicers. And he likes to hit you like a damn truck. Likes to teleport and then dive bomb you. Ow! One of the things I do like is that this, like, energy blast shot is very reminiscent of his weakness from X1, the electric spark. I kind of like that. Yeah, and then he even does that. Like, it's literally the electric spark. It's his weakness from the last game. Which is a fantastic touch. I'm gonna die again. Stop tank. Ow. Sigma, please. Stop spamming that move. I can't hurt you when you do it. There we go. Okay. Wolverine Sigma defe defeated. Wireframe Sigma. There is no health bar to this fight. The only... <laughs> you, you don't get to see his health. And of course... Wireframe Sigma's weakness is my least favorite weapon in the game. Of course it is. Likes to spawn enemies. The enemies can drop health though, which is nice. Actually, you know what? Wait, I... Excuse me? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the only indication you have of how close you are to killing this fool is, is the color of his head. At least the charge up one is doing decent damage to him. Oh boy. Sigma, please. Just die, please. Yeah, uh... Let's try this again. There we go! Sorry, you can... That's a very great laugh you got there, Sigma. Well, I guess when you're a disembodied wireframe virus, you can't exactly speak. Oh, never mind. X, I've lost to you again. Each defeat only makes me stronger and serves to bring you closer to your ultimate doom. But something is not right. I don't quite understand. Why did Zero... He is the last of the Doctor's creations. Ugh. Foreshadowing! And there we go, Sig Sigma Virus is dead. Right? Sigma's dead now, right? <laughs> Well, so I guess how there's six more games after this, I think you know the answer. I am not in control of this aspect ratio, by the way. It is, the screen is actually just that tiny cube. Hey, 
Hey Zero, welcome back, buddy. Joined by his friend Zero, Mega Man X gazes over out over the sea. Sigma has once again been destroyed, but X wonders if the fighting will truly end. Uh, no. I'm gonna just tell you that answer right now, X. Was Dr. Light's dream of a world in which reptiloids and humans live together in peace merely a dream? Uh, get, no. But we'll get there when we get there. The price of peace is often high, X thinks to himself. Who or what? must be sacrificed for it to become reality. How, how very poetic you are, X. All of these cliches. And when the time comes, will you be able to do it? it X, is your cliche button... At zero, turn the cliche button off, please. And that was Mega Man X2! Uh, not gonna lie, kinda not a big fan of this one. I, d I don't really like- I don't really think the Mavericks are all that memorable or interesting. The special weapons are god-awful, only useful for, like, <laughs> out of a few handful of situations. Uh, the armor upgrades- the arms are nice and the boots are nice, like, like, everything except the helmet is just kind of okay. The, the, the helmet, well, every, everything is great except for the helmet, I should say. Alright, uh, positives. Uh, soundtrack is great, like, when it feels like it. I don't like Wheel Gator. I don't like Wire Sponge that much. I can't remember most of the music except for <laughs> the X Hunter stages, specifically the first two, and then X. And then the Zero fight and the Sigma fight. Wolverine Sigma, I should say. I completely forgot what <laughs> Sigma virus theme was. And... Yeah. So, none of them have power levels over 9,000. Pathetic. Uh, okay, Overdrive Ostrich's speed is over 9,000, but that's beside the point. So just shut up, we'll get it. Alright, now, now we're into the over 9,000 category. Somebody call Goku and Vegeta. Uh, yeah, I also don't like how the X-Hunters try... Like, going after the X-Hunters forces you to break your route. Like... Yeah, they're optional, and they, I, I never go for them because I, I trade off three boss fights. Oh yeah, that's the Black Zero that shows up at the end. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I don't like how the X-Hunters force you to break pattern and you trade th three okay boss fights for the best one in the game at the end with a Zero fight. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. X2 is okay. It, it, uh, of the X games that are playable, it's probably my least favorite. But we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get to the two objectively bad ones. We'll, we'll get to those. Anyway, ne next time, we're going to start the, fi the final game in the SNES Mega Man X trilogy. A game that I actually enjoy much more than X2. Is that controversial? Probably. See you guys then.